What's up, people? You're listening to Don Chen's Makes Friends, and I am your host, Don Chen's. It's my new podcast. Uh, for any men with Mike's listeners, my other podcast with Casey Drake. Don't worry, that's not going anywhere. But uh, my first podcast, if you ever listened to that years ago, I used to do interviews, and I miss doing that. So I decided I'm going to start a new podcast, getting back to having guests on. Um, so we're going to do once a week guest base and. Uh, everyone always asks me like what the niche is, what type of people are you going to interview? And, you know, I kind of just don't really want to only interview a certain type of person. I kind of did that when I used to do fitness things. I try to just do fitness content and I got bored of it. Ended up not even liking it. And I was like, I don't want to, I don't limit myself to one thing. So the only criteria we're going to be working with on the show is that I find the person interesting. So, um, my interests, you know, tend to lean towards musician, music and comedy. So musicians and comedians are probably going to be, uh, a lot of the guests I have on, but I mean, I've had athletes, I've already done a few of the interviews already. So I've had athletes, we're going to have entrepreneurs, we're going to have people in media and just other content creators and all that kind of stuff. So, uh, the only criteria is anyone that I find genuinely interesting that I'm excited to talk to that I think will just, uh, bring the best content for you. So, um, if I have a guest that maybe it's someone you're not interested in for whatever reason, that's totally cool. Uh, if it's someone you are interested in, that's great. And if you're just coming for me, then you're the best and I love you. So, um, you're, if you're watching this, you're on my YouTube channel, Don Chen's is where it's going to be. So make sure you subscribe. Um, I would tell you to turn the uh, notifications on, but I don't think anyone ever does, even though they say to do that, but subscribe, check it, check them out there. It'll be on Spotify and Apple podcasts, um, everywhere you can get it on audio platforms. Uh, this podcast is also brought to you by Linden Ave studio shouts out. Uh, it's my boy Rami and Lyndon Av. Rami uh, helped me with the artwork. I'll put it on the screen. And if you're listening on Apple or Spotify, you can clearly see it there. Um, we basically recreated the Wolf album cover by Tyler, the creator. The obvious reason being I'm obsessed with Tyler, the creator, and he's the best. And I love him. And he's the best music artist of all time. The other reason is because the first thing I ever tried doing like five plus years ago was a fitness brand called Lone Wolf Fitness. My first podcast was Wolf Mentality. So I figured the whole wolf thing worked out. Um, but shouts out to him and Lyndon Av for, I guess it's sponsoring, being the presenting sponsor of the show. Um, for those that, if you're not aware, Linden Ave Studio is a multidisciplinary creative studio. It's also a streetwear brand, but what does multidisciplinary creative studio mean? It means they basically do everything. So, you know, you see he did my artwork uh, for the show. He They do graphic design. They do brand identity, merch and clothing design, web design, photo and video production. They basically do it all. Uh, you can check them out at Linden Ave Studio on socials or at lindenavestudio.com. So if you're in the market for those types of services, check them out. If you're in the market for streetwear, they drop streetwear and it's fire. I rock them all the time. I should be wearing it now. I told Rami I would. I apologize, but I actually wore my last Linden Ave shirt yesterday. I have like a hundred different things and uh, yeah, it's great, but multidisciplinary creative studio. Remember that. Um, so yeah, I think it's going to be fun. The goal is for it to be fun, but also informative and inspirational in a way. Uh, keep it lighthearted, but you know, hope people find some value in it. And that's kind of my goal. I'm trying to get value in it from the conversations I'm having and in turn the audience will as well. So shouts out to you if you're checking this out. Shouts out to you if you keep checking it out. This is coming out with the first uh, interview with MRG, good friend of mine, musical artist. Criteria, I said, I'm interested in talking to them. If they're a musical artist, that means I genuinely like their music. So you should check out his music as well. And uh, you know, whoever I have on and uh, I love you guys. Let's go.